Tracking on Money Matters this Wednesday, General Mills has a new cereal that costs 13 bucks. That's a lot of money. And the USDA proposes changes to school lunches. Jane King joins us live from the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Hey, good morning to you, yes. Jane. Good so morning. the USDA may change kids' school lunches? Really? Yes. I mean, they've kind of been going back and forth on this. They want to offer healthier things. The kids don't always eat them. So the De Department of Agriculture has announced two new proposals that would give the school nutrition professionals more flexibility in what they serve to students. Now, the Washington Post reports that it would allow schools to reduce the amount of vegetables and fruits acquired at lunch and breakfast, and it would let schools sell more burgers, pizza, and french fries. <laughs> and Walmart has a way to save money, $60 million worth of money on shopping right. bags. Uh, they're just going to change the way they buy them. And that is amounting to $60 million a year. Uh, so the world's largest company by revenue expects <clears> to <throat> save that amount of money on the plastic shopping bags just by how they change the buying process and better use, uh, utilizing the company's scale. So maybe they're going to take its size into account and get a discount. Well, there you go. So Jane, DNA tests may soon, I can't believe this, be able to dictate our diets? Well, DNA tests may soon reveal the optimal diet for your body, down to the variety of lettuce that you should be eating. By using nutrigenomics, which studies how genes respond to nutrients in food and drinks, DNA tests could help people slim down, maintain a healthy weight, just eat healthier in general for their particular body. Uh, analysts expect robust growth for nutrigenomics in the near future. I have a feeling we're going to be hearing more about those. Mm. Like it. And I'm not sure I quite understand how this is going to work, but General Mills thinks $13 <laughs> is going to bring consumers back? Uh-huh. Well, you know, we pay a lot of uh, premium for certain things, so I guess General Mills thinks that this will work. It is working to revive its own cereal sales with this Morning Summit cereal. It sells for $13 a box. Now, it lists almonds as its first ingredient. This is a bid to attract health-conscious consumers who may have stopped eating cereal for breakfast. In fact, cereal sales have gone stale as consumers choose more protein breakfast options or they skip the early morning meal entirely. Yeah, thirteen dollars a box. I think I'd say, and I think it's this is General Mills cereal. I'd say I mean, Cheerio. That's like, yeah, three, four times what you normally mm -hmm. pay. So we'll yeah. see. See how they do. Not even on a Bogo deal. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jane. Thanks.